What's up, Sagittarius? Please remember this one will resonate for every Sagittarius. Um, it's timeless, and it may resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs as well. And if you enjoy this content, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All interactions are very much so appreciated um, on this channel so we can grow as a family. Now, I'm getting this very strong. Like My heart's been sort of achy as I'm kind of doing this read for you guys. So I feel like there's something about a history with a love situation. This may have been with somebody else very very spiritual like they matched your energy it's like the spiritual divine feminine to your spiritual divine masculine if that makes sense um i feel like you and this person would have taught each other a lot of things about spirituality and you had some kind of soul contract with them but what i'm getting is like somebody like never called or i don't know like maybe someone said they were gonna like reach out and they never did um but you've healed from this, right? You realize that someone was sort of playing a game with you, right? And the thing is, you're very powerful. Whoever I'm picking up on today, you have a lot of power, a lot of fire inside of you. Um, and I'm seeing that when you kind of were coming out of this soul contract, it's like you weren't, it's like you, you were struggling to manifest, right? So that also means you may have gone through some either a big or a subtle ego death um you know because you've gone into like zero 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 it may have been very hard for you to manifest um but i do see like in the past you have called your power back to you <clears throat> so you're you may be feeling more electric um i'm hearing spontaneous more excited like for life and and you're also it's like you you know the world needs you or it is blessed to have you and you know that you're very powerful, but you still, you kind of doubted that because of whoever this ex was of yours, right? It's like they were a part of your home. It's like they were home to you, but they played some kind of game with you. And it kind of paralyzed you for a little while, right? But I do see that you've healed from this. And I feel like you're still like healing from this relationship, to be honest. Um, because in the current energy, we got, we got, you're believing is seeing in reverse, but we also got to clarify that is belief, right? So some of you, like you're struggling. I, I don't want to say that you don't believe in yourself, but I think that there's still some sort of effect from this last relationship that still impacts your self-worth or what your purpose is in the world. And I think your angels really are saying to to believe in your transformation because you are going through a big transformation right now and this card because it looks like a leaf i feel like it's just very organic it's very natural what you're going through i'm also hearing before i started this i heard you're you're alluring so maybe this person this ex of yours was very alluring or you're very alluring but you are getting a big boost right now to believe in yourself and to allow yourself to shine right to allow that fire inside of you to burn and to, to burn bright you know i feel like maybe you were saying i call my energy back but spirit's saying some of you are still getting the aftermath of this relationship with the fish hook this person may have turned out to actually be narcissistic in the end and i do feel like you feel like you've healed your heart from this properly but Spirit saying it's not fully healed yet. Um, you could be in like a wounded healer energy right now, you know. Maybe you think about this person sometimes. Um, right? And it's like, you just want this to be over. You know what I mean? Maybe you want to just stop thinking about this person. Maybe they run through your mind. and it, It's like you want it to be over and you want to be able to just like, stand up for yourself in some way but i feel like this person conned you i don't know how i don't know why but they tricked you into it's almost like they left you and they said they were going to come back but then they didn't and you felt helpless like paralyzed in the situation and that that was a control tactic right so you were dealing with someone spiritual could have been like a bit of a spiritual narcissist um so I feel like, you know, you want to kind of protect your energy and stand up for yourself. And 
listen to your spirit team. So I, I like that I'm here doing this reading. Um, right, I'm seeing that, yeah, so, so your shadow, your inner child needs a little bit of work, right? You, you do come off as somebody very emotionally stable, like whoever you are. And not every Sagittarius is kind of like that. Some of them are a bit everywhere. You know what I mean? But you could be Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So you take what resonates. But I feel like, um, you know, there's a part. I'm not, Honestly, it feels like there's, if you were to be honest with yourself, it's almost like there's a part of you that still wants things to work out with this, this ex, this person from your past. Because they didn't keep their word or something. Um, but your shadow and your inner child, it's like your emotional body needs a bit of work, okay? Especially your heart. So if you are seeing this and this resonates for you, I would say, like, listen to heart chakra clearing or heart chakra frequencies. Because it might really help you to just clear the debris from this past situation so you can move on, right? I do feel like some of you do, you may even be in a new relationship or have, you know, like new friends slowly kind of coming into your energy, right? For some of you, this may be in the public eye or it may just be like in a community or you may be meeting friends through friends is what I'm getting, but <clears throat> you also are very abundant, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles, it's like maybe you have a very uh, stable family, I just feel like you're very secure. You know what I mean? This could be financially. Some of you are making investments that you could be celebrating about as well or looking at making investments that you'll be celebrating about. Yeah, it's so saying to trust your intuition if that's you. But um, yeah, believe in this transformation, right? This transformation may have nothing to do with a relationship or your finances this feels like something that's happening inside of you where you are being called to let your <laughs> to light yourself back up and not like allow yourself to inspire yourself and don't think that you're gonna hurt yourself by getting inspired if that makes sense because there's a big shift happening what's coming up so i'm seeing you're gonna have more peace coming up and peace about this person and whatever they did like I feel like they lied to you right you guys might have even had a fight over them lying to you exactly so there was disappointment you were disappointed by this person's behavior or how they were treating you or approaching you because you had nothing but love for them is what I'm getting like unconditional love for this person you would have loved them through their flaws but I'm seeing like you're about to come into actual peace over this situation. Like you really are. <laughs> um, you know, it's been very stressful for you to kind of feel stable and secure after this person did what they did to you. And I'm seeing that. Like one thing, it's like you don't see that you are very stable and secure. You are emotionally. You just need to do a little bit of work on that emotional body is what I'm getting. Okay. And you have a, you're going to have a lot to celebrate because some of you have a new relationship that could be entering your energy right now or a new soulmate coming in. This is someone, this is someone very genuine. All right. This could be a date coming up. It's a past life connection, a very strong one. Right? You guys are manifesting this person in. I thought I dropped a card. That's funny. I, I thought I saw a putty tag. <laughs> like, I don't know. This person may be very playful or they're kind of like cat-like. I don't know. <gasps> oh, shit! You are about to meet your kingdom spouse. That's who, who's about to come in. That's who you're manifesting. Sagittarius. No, I ain't trying to hear you to gas you up too much, but it's time you really cut these cords with this person from your past. And I'm not here to tell you to say get over it, but I'm here to tell you that your attachment to this person is holding you back. You know, your attachment to the betrayal that they caused you, that they did on you is holding you back, right? You also could have a dragon soul. Um, you've journeyed with the dragons before. 
We dragons know your soul. It is beyond the shape you have taken this lifetime. We honor you now, traveler, for the lifetimes we have shared together. All right. So, so like I said, you had some type of powerful soul contract with this other person from your past. It says we are guardians. We see far fly to the stars and have been on this planet longer than any human can comprehend. The dragons are watching over you, keeping you safe. You are protected. All right. Um, so, yeah, if you are somebody who resonates with the dragons or you have dragon soul, you know, you guys, you guys are very, very protected. You're very protected. And I want you to know you have you have a beautiful, a really beautiful soulmate coming in like this is. A divine union even if you're not getting actually married like you guys are married in the 5d already like seriously and this person's about to approach you right and you can look and you're gonna look back on this relationship you had with this other person and you'll realize that you were fighting with this person it's like you had a difference in beliefs or something right it's like you may have been both very powerful strong-minded but it was toxic you know, this person was playing games with you. They were playing mind games with you because they're narcissistic. And that's why they left you out in the cold. Ugh. But it's okay for you to let it go, you know. Baby, it's okay for you to let it go. You know, you've been so strong. And it's time for you to step into your power and receive this love of a lifetime. Um, and I feel like that love of a lifetime is also going to make you a bit jittery because it might even seem too good to be true. But like I'm saying, the dragons are orchestrating you for this. The harp is confirming this person will bring you so much happiness and it will just happen so organically is what I want to say. So let me know if this resonated. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate you guys hanging out on my channel and I wish you all the best. Peace to the Cosmic Tribe.